this robot uh, with shell ESP32 C3 board using the protocol uh, ESP now you're going to be needing uh, two boards two shell ESP32 C3 boards get for yourself uh, one L298N DC motor driver and 3.3 uh, volt lithium iron battery for powering the uh, the receiver board and uh, you, you also need to power the, uh, the the DC motors you need to power the, um, the L298 and DC motor driver with an external power supply I got two 3.7 uh, lithium batteries get for, for yourself four push buttons for the board. board uh, so on the receiver side I attached the, the, the GPIO tool uh, to input pin in one of the DC motor driver GPIO 3 I connected to input pin uh, in four of the DC motor driver I attached the GPIO 4 to input pin in two of the DC motor driver GPIO 5 uh, uh, to input pin in three of the DC motor driver that's on the receiver side and uh, then you, you need to power the the receiver board uh, with uh, this uh, lithium uh, battery 3.3 volt you attach uh, the plus to to 5 volt pin and uh, the negative to ground of the board our receiver board so you also need to connect the ground of the receiver board to the ground of the um, uh, DC motor driver on that transmitter side I attached the GPIO 20 um, to the first push button close to the board the GPIO 8 uh, with a third push button the GPIO 9 uh, with a fourth push button at last the GPIO 10 to the second push button a very important note you need to know uh, the transmitter uh, the transmitter board need to know the uh, the media access control uh, address of the receiver board so that uh, the ESP now communication can be established I'm using two DC geared uh, motor the left DC geared motor its positive uh, side is attached to output pin out one and uh, its negative side to output pin out two the right DC geared motor its negative side is attached to output pin out four and uh, its positive side to output pin out three let me show you how I created the sketches for both boards transmitter and uh, receiver you gotta install the uh, ESP32 boards to have the uh, ESP now library uh, so uh, these are uh, my push uh, buttons down one GPIO 10 down 2 GPIO 9 push uh, down 3 GPIO 8 push down 4 GPIO 20 so I um, now I can remove those things I don't need it 
uh, this info. So that's the uh, media access control address, address of the uh, receiver, aka uh, MAC address. So inside of uh, this structure uh, with the um, uh, the four uh, state of the uh, four push buttons, state one, state two, uh, all the way down. Okay. So on data sent, okay, uh, is the function that uh, is going to tell us if the uh, the the delivery whether uh, the the de delivery was success or not. If not, so it will print out fail. So the four push uh, buttons are input uh, pins. Uh, down one input, down two input, down three input, down four input. And uh, to print out um, the messages, okay, uh, we need the serial begin eleven fifty two zero zero. Okay, to print out the deliver the uh, messages. Uh, so, so no, so once the um, SPNR is successfully initiated we will register uh, for send cb uh, blah 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 okay um, uh, so um, uh, so we're gonna register the peer so now here uh, we are creating uh, the variable push state push button state uh, the push button state is a data packet variable okay and uh, the, the push button state will save uh, the states of the uh, push buttons and uh, we're gonna be sending the data the push button state to the receiver using the uh, the function spnow send okay okay that's the uh, trans receiver code as you can see here so the uh, that's the um the uh, input pins of the uh, l298 and dc motor driver in one is attached to GPIO two, in two to GPIO three, four, all, all the way down. Okay, and uh, we need the states, state one and and state two, all the way down, uh, up to state four. So now we are inside of the function on data receive right? receive. I don't know. Okay, so we need. Uh, we create again a, a this v v v variable called push uh, button state and uh, that's the uh, income data okay uh, so we're gonna print out the state of um, each push buttons okay coming from the transmitter code Okay, we, uh, we're gonna print out the state of each of each push button. Okay, so now to have the uh, the rubber uh, 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 moving, so we we use the uh, if statement. Okay, if statement. Um, uh, in one up to in four, okay, are output pins on my uh, receiver board, okay, they are output pins. So if state one is uh, one, so in one gets 
uh, 3.3 volt else get 0 volt state 2 get uh, 1 so n2 get uh, 1 else 0 state 3 get 1 so uh, then in uh, 3 get 1 else 0 state 4 get 1 so uh, in 4 get 1 else get 0 okay so guys so um, now I think we can upload the sketch of the receiver code We wait a little bit, we wait, we wait, we wait, okay, I think it's done, okay, and I, uh, let me see, okay, now we send about the transmitter code. great so it is printing out delivery fail uh, that's not good um, let me try uploading again okay We wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait, we wait for the 100%. Okay, now always deliver. I think I'm going to do that. Okay, now it's fine. Okay, delivery. Okay, now let me do again the demo.